Hi, this is Dan from Kitsch. Today we're gonna to make one of my absolute favorite winter meals. It's a great comfort food meal. Um, it's Guinness beef stew. This is my wife's recipe. Um, it's super simple to make. Normally I do it on a Sunday where I can cook it for three or four hours and the house smells amazing. But today we're gonna to do a new twist on it. We're gonna use my new favorite kitchen appliance, the Zavor multi-cooker. This thing is amazing. It does slow cooking like a crock pot. It does pressure cooking like a pressure cooker, it does sous vide, and also, unlike most of these pots, you can actually brown the meat inside the pot and then cook. Instead of having to brown the meat on the stove and then transfer it to your, your crock pot, you just do it right inside. Super simple, it's an amazing thing. Very, very easy as far as controls go. Very simple, very easy to use. Um, last night we made chicken legs in 35 minutes. The beef stew will take about 30 minutes to make total, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. Comes out awesome. So we're gonna get started. It's very simple initially. Um, see, so turn this to brown, flick it, flick start. We're gonna take a third of a cup of flour, I normally mix garlic powder, salt, and pepper in with it. Just because I never follow recipes, which drives my wife crazy. But it's a third of a cup of regular flour, just coat the meat. And then throw a little of our Ariston extra virgin olive oil in. So at this point, we're at 100% temperature. We're going to toss the stew meat in. Some of the extra flour. Brown the meat. Once the meat is brown, I'm adding a little more olive oil. We're going to add a large chopped onion and three large cloves of garlic. You sweat that a little bit. What sweating means is, is you don't brown it, you just get it until it turns translucent. It only takes a couple minutes. One of the nice things about the Zavor is it has 10 cooking functions. Pressure cook, slow cook, steam, brown, flax, simmer, makes yogurt, makes rice cook eggs and dessert, it really does anything. We're gonna do another video about sous vide in a little while too. It smells heavenly in here by the way. So this recipe normally calls for Guinness. Um, I thought I had Guinness here at the store and I don't, so I'm gonna use our buckler, non-alcoholic beer. You can really make it Budweiser with any beer at all. It's really good. So we're gonna start deglazing the pan a little bit with the beer. It takes two cups, which is two full beers. All right, so we add the two beers. I left about a couple tablespoons of flour, which we also added. Four beef bouillon cubes. And a teaspoon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let this simmer for a little bit and thicken up. All right, now the magic happens. Basically what we're going to do is put the top on, make sure it locks. We're going to stop it, put it on pressure cook for 30 minutes. Normally it'd be 35 to 40 minutes, but I want to add the carrots in the last 10 minutes. So now we're going to start that. This will take a minute. Basically, the lid is still a, a touch loose right now, and as the steam builds, the lid locks. So then I'm going to add my special ingredient, which is the black garlic that we currently sell here from Grandpa's Best. This stuff is amazing. It's regular garlic that is roasted for 41 days. It literally is black. It'll add some really great flavor to this. So now I can tell it's up to speed. It says 100%, the lid is locked tight. 30 minutes, we'll pop her open, pop the carrots in. 10 more minutes, we'll be done. So we're back. Um, I opened this up and popped the carrots in about eight minutes ago. Um, we're ready to open it up with the final ingredient in the peas, maybe thicken it up a little bit. I'm gonna stop it. We're gonna vent it. You'll never get it open until you get the pressure out of it. Steam cleaning my frying pan. The lid stays locked all the way until all the steam is out, so there's no way to open this with steam in it. One of the safety features. Yeah, there we go. This is good. The 
carrots are nice and al dente. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add about a half a bag of frozen peas. I don't heat them up, I just throw them right in there. They cook so fast that, and this is so hot right now, that they'll cook in no time at all. Now it's a little thin, which I kind of thought it might be. So one of the one of the tricks of the trade is if you take exactly equal amounts of water and flour, this is two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of flour, and gently just kind of whisk a little of it in with a fork or a whisk. What this does is it thickens it up. Um, typically, you can, you can pour this into a bowl and serve it like that. Typically, I do it over garlic mashed red potatoes. I'll throw maybe a square inch cube of cream cheese into the potatoes when I mash them to give them a really nice creamy consistency. Um, it's just, it's an awesome meal in the winter. All right, so here we go. This is really, really good. Guinness beef stew. In about 35 minutes. This is Dan from Kitsch. Thanks for tuning in. We'll do a few more cooking classes with this machine. We'll do a sous vide. We'll do a, a crackpot dish. Just to show how versatile it is. Thanks for listening.